So San Jose in 2018, uh, go. Okay, now I'm ready to present in Texas. I'm not up on stage, so you can't see the fabulous boots. Uh, hi, I'm Andy Tremblay, and I'd like to talk to you about the San Jose in 2018 bid. But I'm not going to give you another repeat of the same presentation that many of you have seen. At WesterCon 67, we introduced ourselves. At LONCON 3, we introduced ourselves again. There were different people in London. It was Europe. Um, at SMOFCON 32, we showed how we could respond to changing situations in an agile fashion. These are, once again, my presenting glasses. Um, at WesterCon 68, we talked about the benefits that the Bay Area brings to Worldcon. At SASQUAN, we talked about how our convention center and host hotels are tried, tested, and fan-friendly. But this is SMOFCON 33, and the 2018 election is at MAC 2 this coming summer. So I'm going to talk about what's most important this time. San Jose in 2018 is ready to win. Now, what does that mean? I mean really, we have to hit the ground running after, as soon as the vote is announced. There's only two years to convert a bid to a convention. We've got our facilities contracts. I've talked to death about them. No worries there. But we're working to make things better. Um, we have reached out to the Abilities Expo and are going to be talking with them about how they make their event accessible in the same facilities that we use. Um, we have to be ready to take registrations from fans all around the world supporting cash, check, credit cards, and for the people who really want to use it, PayPal. Um, we are going to be using the same system to register convention attendees as we have been using for pre-supports, making it easy for voters and pre-supporters to convert their memberships to attending. When the time comes to open hotel reservations, I really, really like this one. Our registration system will provide full integration with reservations because Team San Jose's housing system is operated by the same company that's providing our registration services. So for those of you who care about this kind of thing, reconciling our, uh, reconciling our registration lists with our hotel pickup. All there. Um, we have to have guests of honor ready to announce. We're currently open for guest of honor suggestions and will be through December 15. Uh, we'll be making our final selections and get guest agreements sorted out this spring. We have to have a website for the convention itself ready to launch when the election is certified. We don't have that yet. It's a little bit early right now. But we have an IT team and an, IT team and an art director who can deliver that. And of course, we have to staff up. Um, we have a convention chair selected, uh, Kevin Roach. And this is where I hope you all come in. Kevin's looking forward to talk to many of you about joining our operating committee so that we are ready to hit the ground when we win. Thank you very much. I just want to say, four and a half minutes left, suck it, Pablo. <laughs>